here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, switch over to our next topic. Let's go and talk about the crazy woman online. Gray, you've seen your fair share of crazy people online, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So this one comes to us from Twitter X. And she basically has a video for about two minutes. I have not seen this yet. And uh, let's see what she has to say. Have you seen this video yet? I clicked I've it because I saw, it. I saw, I thought I, I saw her big boobs. But I'm not sure if they're big because <laughs> black is very uh, concealing. But you know, um, but I I've, guess she has a lot I've, of issues. I've seen it when I scroll, but I have not played the video. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see what she has to say. She wouldn't last 10 minutes in a COD lobby is not, nor has it ever been, a valid excuse for men to act like pieces of human garbage in gaming. I shouldn't have to play a game where all I say is hi and the whole game is thrown and I'm in hell for the next 40 minutes because men are being emotional about it. That is not normal and that's not how the old COD days were because I promise you, as a man, you have never had somebody throw on the basis of your gender. Yeah, man. Oh, what? my God. It's oh, like, my she... God. <laughs> Gray, how? how... how do I, I don't know. How... It, you can, if you don't like it that much, you can always, you know, quit the game, play something else, or you can just mute. <laughs> just Yeah, you can, right. you can mute that person. There was, there was a person earlier this week that sort of did the same thing, but she did it for content. She's like, she unmuted yeah. that person for content. It's like, oh, I'm going to unmute myself so I can get some content out of this. And then she unmutes. And then, of course, what he said was wrong. But she she egged him on. So they're both wrong. Right? Should that guy get banned? Yeah, I would say so. Because that's that's literally, you're, you're threatening someone, right? With, well, with, with, with rape. But, no, but for her... Like she could mute, she could mute them easily. And it seems like she's very young is because she does not know. It's like, oh, guys, we call each other gay all the time back in the day because that is our word for lame. That's stupid. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. We, was, we, we was like, that's gay. That shit's gay, man. And then you can't say that anymore because of feelings. But yeah. Um, and we're only 23 seconds in out of two minutes. Is the, is, is, is the audio loud enough for you? It, it is really low on my end. It's, yeah, it was kind of low, but I think when you max it out, I think it's okay. Okay, I, I think, right, let's I continue. Think. All right. That doesn't happen. You can say it happens. You're lying. I'm sorry. I don't know why that's such a common thing in the comments of my videos. You guys want to be oppressed so bad that you'll look at a man calling me a telling me he's going to tell me to get back in the kitchen and say it's not a woman thing. And say that that happens to you too it doesn't there's a reason that historically male dominated spaces are known for being toxic and unsafe that goes for gaming that goes for sports any male dominated space is a bad one. Oh my god dude <laughs> holy shit oh god so any male dominated space is a bad one oh man i i i think that she I think she just, she, yeah, she has never played Call of Duty before. Mm -hmm. Like, like I bet you if you go back on your th Xbox 360, you boot up Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, turn on the lobby, and you hear a bunch of like 15-year-olds calling you the N-word and calling you, a, uh, you know, the gamer word, calling you gay, calling you like, oh, like, oh, I, you know, like, I, I you know, you, you just got owned and uh, uh, all that crazy stuff. Like, I, I've gotten like 10 year olds yell at me saying that like all, all these shit back in the day. And the thing is that like, yeah. you can mute that shit. Yeah. Oh my God, man. This is. Yeah. It's Wild like... West. Yeah. Oh, this. All right. Let's continue. That's not me being sexist. That is me saying there is an inherent issue with the way that you guys have your locker room talk. That makes everybody else feel unsafe. I don't know how you could possibly find it fun to make other people feel unsafe. No woman is asking men to make gaming a safe space with sunshine and rainbows and everything, but could you please be normal? Because I want to be able to enjoy playing the game without my life being threatened, without my body being threatened, <laughs> because I'm existing as a woman. And men are the ones making it unsafe. And I do not care if you feel targeted by me saying men 
or if you feel attacked by me saying men, you are part of the problem. If you feel attacked by that, you're part of the problem. If you say just mute them, you're part of the problem. If you there it is. <laughs> I don't want to mute them. I want the people to talk to them online. <laughs> yeah, this is she, she's been online. Th 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 she's probably never been in a COD uh, uh, lobby. She's this, this is her this is her second year online. She's she's been playing Farmville on Facebook. Yeah, uh, I imagine those games, <laughs> those games. Yeah, Cafe World, you know, Candy Crush. And then yeah, you know I what? I'm I'm gonna try yeah. out uh, you know, Animal well, Crossing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then when she said, okay, maybe to grow my channel or my page. I, I let me try out Call of Duty. And then oh, she got the wake up call, the wake yeah. up call from the lobby. <laughs> That's what yeah, happened here. This lady needs like a safe space, man. It's like she's one of those people who are like, oh, they're playing online, and you know, like it's so emotionally damaging. <laughs> oh shit! You sit there and let them say that to me, and you don't intervene. You are part of the problem because I have a lot of male friends, normal male friends, who don't say slurs and don't threaten people and just play like normal. I guarantee you they say it behind your back. If they are a regular guy, you flame people all the time, whether you're typing it out on League of Legends or you're saying it in Call of Duty. It doesn't matter. Like, especially like little kids, like you're playing, like imagine if Fortnite have like voice chat and you can hear other people talk to you in Fortnite, which I know they don't. Like, wow. It's like, it, it yeah it's, geez, i feel so unsafe oh man i understand it it's not all men but if you are not one of the men doing this it is entirely on you to help stop the men who are if you don't understand that and you don't understand power imbalances and gender hierarchy it's not my place to teach you i'm not your mother i'm not your teacher close the game for five minutes and educate yourself but stop making this a bad experience for everybody else who's just trying to play the game <laughs> <laughs> but wait there's more so she follows up with this i said men should stop threatening to grape women and i now have hundreds of replies in my dms that look like this y'all are really passionate about graping women huh so she said <laughs> she might be on dumb because he's moving <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. Let, 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 let me open this up. Okay, here's the thing. I just find this shit to be funny. Chat, I'm not I'm not gonna read the comments because um it's it's, it's hilarious, but oh man. Uh... <laughs> so basically people are like stop, stop being crazy, stop being oh my god, automatically makes you unattractive. Which is what you're trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the trash oh, talk carried man. over to IG and Facebook. <laughs> yeah, she is not happy about this. Now, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. She's so pissed off about this that she even got caught. She got caught for saying otherwise. Now, here's the thing. This is from this is from Kong Min. He said, you're a disgusting groomer who should be banned from gaming and kept away from children. So this is what she said, I believe, uh, in one of her streams, right? So this is uh, this is pretty bad. I listened to this already. No, it's over, Ina. It's over. Like, if, if I were to have a boy, we better pray to God that he's gay. We better start indoctrinating him day one. We have to either make him trans or make him gay. We are not having a cisgender straight son. Yeah. So yeah, Grace, I, what are your I sincerely about? hope. Yeah. I sincerely hope she doesn't have a boyfriend. I hope yeah. that she's. Yeah. <laughs> you are. Yeah. You're. That's I don't know. You're you're like saying well, intentionally wrongly raise a child. That's basically what you just said. Yeah, just yeah. Because that, people were trash. No, no, no. Actually, this is way back, right? This is way before. Yeah, this, 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 this is before the incident. Yeah, but mm -hmm. the thing is that she's probably complaining about this issue for a while now. So that's what pushed her to prompt her to make that video. Right. This is probably maybe something bothered her. You know what? I'm gonna make this video. I'm gonna get. I, I, I'm gonna get so much likes for this. And then, um, I would say she would probably have gotten away with a lot of things she said if Jack Dorsey was still in charge of Twitter. 
but it's not. It's in charge. Uh, Elon Musk bought it, and Elon now that you know you you, you got people sh showing this, it's not a good look for you. And uh, yeah, she she's she's so she's so she's so dumb, and um, and it's you can always mute people. And the thing is that if we're saying, oh, if something's bothering you and someone's telling you shit, you could just mute them, block yep. them. Or whatever, right? It, like, or if you, if worst case, report them, right? If, if someone flames me or call me like some crazy ass name in Dota too, I can report those people, right? Man, is uh, yeah. This this is this is gaming, and this is the second time we've seen something like this within the week, where yeah. a, a girl would basically use their platform to uh, you know. Given the fact, however, that, that the guy that that basically threatened to do that uh, sexual assault is in the wrong and he should get banned, but uh, it's just these these gamer girls, man. They um, they yeah, or, uh, or maybe they low key know what they're doing. It's just that they just want to get clout. Maybe that's yeah. also another angle. Yeah, probably farming for content. Yeah, it's like oh, maybe right? I'll. I'll, I'll I'll get popular if I say this for the week. And they, they actually know what they're doing. That's also possible. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.